So today we're going to talk about the sago palm. The specimen behind me here to be exact. These are beautiful. They stay green year round. Uh, they've really got a bad reputation because of bad planting. People plant them without doing any research on how big they're going to get. They're too close to sidewalk. So if you're just planting these, do some research. Think about your layout and where you want it. Don't, otherwise, it'll just be a pain to you. But like it grows, it's, it's beautiful. Uh, I got my first ones of these as some bulbs three years ago. Got them started, put them in the ground two years ago. They grew kind of slow. I was told to always keep the lower trimmed off, even though it's prettier with that, and leave the new growth of each year on it, and it would grow faster. So last year I experimented with that. That proved to be true. Uh, you'll be able to tell as we walk and, and trim different ones which ones that I had from last year throughout the year as we trim these and which ones I had done like he had told me. So we're going to start and trim them, and I'll show you how to trim them and what, you, what you're looking for. To trim them, we're going to use a good pair of shears. I strongly suggest that you invest a little money in a pair of these that, that's quality that will hold up. Do a little research on them. You want something that'll cut. So as this guy's telling me how to trim these, I'm looking around me, I'm in his yard, and he's just, they're everywhere. So this guy knew what he was talking about. I mean, he lives in the sand hills, and it's like you're pulling into the Garden of Eden, it's hidden. So these right here are two that we're gonna, I'm gonna show you on, and maybe a couple of other little ones. These were actually transplanted from somewhere else. So I'm gonna show you on some that's pretty and established versus some that maybe you may be starting from a bulb that are kind of rough looking that first year. And that way you'll have an idea, regardless of what you have, how to trim it to make it grow and, and get on up. So uh, we're gonna look, we're gonna focus on this one first. Now, when we get down in here and we go to looking at the layers of those leaves, you're gonna notice that the older ones are on the bottom and the others are on the top. What we're looking to do is leave the top layers that's sticking around the plant up and trim the older layers. It doesn't matter if they're good or not. They're using up energy that that plant could use to make it grow and produce it up. So uh, I'm gonna get in there and give you a shot, show you what I'm talking about. Now what we're gonna be looking at are those bottom limbs. That's what we're gonna cut off. You just take your shears and snip them out of the way. And get them as close to the trunk as you can get them. So now that we've trimmed it, it isn't as fuller and lusher as it was, but it's still pretty. It'll grow faster and get taller. When it gets to the height that you want it, then you can let it bush out or however you want to. That's what you're looking for after you get done trimming it. I'll bring you in a little closer and show you where you can see just all that's left is that top row that has just come out this year. See, that's all that's left, it's just what's up here. We've trimmed back everything that was below that. Here, we're gonna take off everything that ain't the newest growth from this year. Same principle we just did on the other one. And this one I also got from somebody else that was already grown. That's what you're looking for. Now I'm gonna take you down to a couple of them young bulbs that I had done that I told you about. And we'll do a couple of them where you can see some and how to do that ain't so prominently to tell. Now some of these younger ones, they haven't got up and fanned out as much. It's the same principle. You just wanna pull back your limbs where you can see down at the bottom and find the ones that's the oldest. Clip them all. That one, we'll just clip that one. The most three look to be this year. It's not rocket science. Now this whole row that you see here is bulbs that I started. I started them three years ago, put them in the ground. The end of the second year, they've been in the ground for a year. So uh, they, that's, I'd suggest if you're gonna start bulbs, unless you got good, good irrigation, which I hadn't got all over yet, I would start them in pots where you can get water to them and get them started. Once you get them in the ground, get them established, they're not as prone to die. They just quit growing if they're not getting enough water. But 
while they're trying to get started, they do need water. And you don't have to be over it stimulating. Sometimes you just need one ring. So you now as you get further away from where I'm able to get water, you can see that they, they lack the yellow one of the leaves. Because they're getting the fertilizers that they need. They're getting magnesium. They're getting everything they need. Except for the water on this one. But hopefully I can change that this year. Now here's a prime example of one that's not easy to define. Because of the way it's growing. If you just pull down there, you'll get it. And try to get any of them that lay over another and distort it. Other than that, just try to trim it back. Try to keep it looking pretty. So this row looks a little cleaner and a little neater now. Everything's trimmed back up and they'll grow faster this year. So we got our sagos trimmed. Now you know how to do that. Uh, right now you, you, is a good time to put that fertilizer on them. I've held off because I'm, gonna, I'm not ready to fertilize my banana trees and to make it easier to video the two different ones. It'd be a lot easier to do them both at the same time, so be looking for that. We'll be fertilizing them right here shortly. If you're going to, they make a specific palm fertilized. If you see your palms yellowing, you need some manganese or magnesium, something like that. Uh, if you buy a good balanced palm fertilizer with a slow release, it should have it in it. But uh, if you'll join me in that video, I'll talk about a couple types of fertilizer and show you, show you how to put those out. So y'all keep tuning in because everything's kicking off. We fix and do some growing and see some stuff grow. All these plants is coming alive. So I appreciate y'all joining me.